Hello Commanders and welcome to Million Dust Gaming in a new Conflict of Nations World War 3 series and today we are going to play with Ukraine. We will try to establish a Ukrainian Empire but before that we need to realize the position of Ukraine. We need to realize our points of strength and weaknesses to be able to move our pieces of chess accordingly. You know here that uh, Ukraine has six homeland cities including Kharkiv, Donetsk, Dnipro, Odessa, Lviv and Kiev. Of course, this Donbass region uh, composed of uh, Donetsk, we have also a fuel province there, we have a supplies province and also an electronics province. It's not bad, it's good, but you can see in the up above panel that our resources is not that good. Our nation is not very rich, but we need to make it rich. We need to make it rich in order to create a great, uh, a great army. Let's have a look at the diplomatic map and our neighbors. Of course, this is our big neighbor, Russia. Russia is an active player and he is, uh, he is already starting to uh, spam the buildings there. And on our north, we have Belarus. Belarus still didn't take over. We have on our left, Romania. And north left, we have Poland. So basically here, Ukraine is surrounded by enemies. And in this series, we are going to focus mainly on diplomacies. I will show you the art of diplomacies in this series as I am going to show you all of my conversations that I am going to do with other players, with other nations. First of all, like usual, I am going to build recruiting offices in all of my cities to be able to uh, mobilize the national guards why national guards because in this situation as I do not know who will attack me first I'm going to need a fast deployed units and the fastest deployed units and that can help me defend my cities are the national guards so let's go and start creating the Ukrainian army and let's make Ukraine great again here you can see clearly that I am trying to fortify my Donbass region because that is our borders with Russia. Uh, an imminent invasion of Russia is uh, likely here because uh, you know uh, Russia always looks uh, in every start of map he always looks for Belarus, Finland or Ukraine. So I do not really like him to look at me first because that is going to be a little bit complicated because Russia is big and strong and we do not want to attack us first. But if he did, I need to be prepared in my cities of Kharkiv and Donetsk, of course. The recruiting offices, they are underway. I'm going to fill my build queue in my capital with arms industries and an air base level 2. I'd like to... Um, I'd like to improve the economy of uh, the rare materials, components and also the fuel, electronics as well because electronics here are very important as in this series I'm going to try to build the elite attack aircrafts uh, also with uh, some kinds of artilleries, we will see, we will see. For now I do not want to make a lot of plans because my build is going to be variable um, under the circumstances. Here I'd like really to choose between the strike fighters or the elite attack aircrafts. We know elite attack aircrafts, they are very good against land targets. But in order to unlock them, we are going to need the air superiority fighters and to develop them and upgrade them, we need also to upgrade the air superiority fighters. This is why I am still thinking, is it going to be the Suhoi strike fighters or the frog foot elite attack aircrafts. But finally, I'm going to go with elite attack aircrafts because for its amazing potential to attack land targets. Early game, EAA, they are going to be amazing and very strong. I will try to uh, retrieve the Crimean Peninsula. I'd like to take the city of Sevastopol because it is a component city and it's very important. Also, the city of uh, Kishnau. But looks like I will be in a race against Romania because Romania always tries to take the city of Moldova there. I will speak now and start the marathon of uh, diplomacies. The first one is going to be uh, Poland because I do not want to wage war versus Russia when my back is not protected. This is why I am speaking with Poland to establish a peace pact with him. Okay, the recruiting officers, they are ready. I'm going to um, mobilize my first wave of National Guards. I'm going to mobilize wave and uh, queue the second one. The queue is very useful when the first one uh, is finished. The second one uh, starts automatically. 
this is a good feature in the Security Council membership in this game. Okay, so uh, the first wave is under mobilization. Okay, like I said, Romania has cut off the road against us and he, he, he surrounded uh, Moldova and he is taking the city. While I am still advancing to Sevastopol to take down and take back the Crimean, uh, the Crimean Peninsula under the rule of the Ukrainian nation. I will buy some rare materials from the market in order to um, unlock and um, start the research of the elite attack aircraft, the Frogfoot. Looks like action is going to begin early today. Looks like we are not we are not going to wait for several episodes in order to see some action because, uh, like I said, Europe is always heated and especially the region of Ukraine. A lot of nations surrounding us and Okay, let's start some action, boys. Looks like Russia did not wait for too long to start his invasion. Like expected and like anticipated, Russia has started his invasion on Ukraine. But something very unlikely and extremely weird, Norway also declared war on us and he is going for our port of Odessa. This is actually very weird. Norway is being already uh, conquered by Sweden, but he is sending armies to take down Ukraine. Why? I don't know why. Well, the Russian invasion on Ukraine was 100% uh, expected because uh, that's how things are. That's, that's how things are, actually. Now, I am going to launch my counterattack. Bad luck for us that um, Russia managed to take down the cities of Dnipro and Donetsk. Luckily, I kept defenses in the city of Kharkiv and Odessa and they are struggling to take them uh, from me. The city of Kiev also has uh, infantry battalions defending me, but Russia is attacking me with his um, taut artilleries from distance. Now let's, uh, let's send our counterattack directly to his capital, Moscow. Like he went for my Donbass region, now I am going straight to Moscow because I know for a fact that Russia, he sent all of his armies to Ukraine to conquer it. So I do not think he will uh, keep some defenses in his capital. This is why I'm going to use this chance and use this window to take down Moscow. Well, yeah, we are successful. He is trying to retrieve it back though. This is why I am going to destroy the buildings in his capital, Moscow. Corruption, destruction, that's what this game needs to do when you are waging a huge war versus a tough enemy. Also, Russia, he managed to take back the Crimean Peninsula. He is bombarding Kiev overnight with his Taut Artilleries and he is actually destroying our capital. Uh, I will start spamming the National Guards in the city of Lviv to be able to establish some defenses in my homeland cities. I am going to send the infantry battalion from, um, from uh, the port of Odessa straight to the capital to defend my capital Kiev. Look how big Russia is. It's going to take days and days for me to be able to conquer Russia. It is going to be a marathon of um, hitting and running. It's going to be a marathon of resistance and patience. But we are up to it, boys. We are up to it, boys. After all, I am Miliodas here and I am not going to fall for Russia that easily. Good news that we took down his capital, Moscow, and also we took down his city of Volgograd. I will later on go straight to uh, his uh, city of um, Rostov. He is trying to defend his uh, and take back his capital, Moscow and Volgograd, but I kept defenses there, so it's not going to be that easy for him to retrieve his cities. Now I am going to launch a counterattack on this stout artillery and um, push off the dangers from my capital Kiev and transform the battle into the Russian lands. I'm not going to stay in my cities. I'm not going to stay in my nation waiting for him and watching him attacking me and conquering me. So whenever I have the chance, I am going to go straight to his homeland cities. Thank you guys for watching episode 1 of the Rise of Ukraine. We meet in episode 2. Don't forget to subscribe to Miliotas Gaming YouTube channel and like this video. Bye bye.